y'all and welcome to today's video. I am going to be showing y'all some makeup that I am decluttering, getting out of my makeup collection. Some of the things, if they are expired, they will have to go in the trash, but most of these things are getting passed on to family and friends. I have friends and family that love makeup, that know I love makeup, and they are waiting on some of these things, so I'm definitely going to pass them on. They are going to go to good homes, do not worry, but I need to get some of this stuff out. Some of these things are just products that did not work for me. Products I hate, products I cannot have, and I'll kind of explain to you as we go along, but some of the things are great products that I just don't use enough for one reason or the other, and instead of just letting them sit in my collection and never get used, I would rather pass them on to somebody who will love them so much. So don't worry, all the makeup that is not expired is going to good homes, and I hope that you enjoy watching this declutter, see what I'm getting in and out. I actually love watching declutter videos, so I hope y'all do too. And if you are new here, hey, my name is Heather and makeup makes me happy. Here at my channel, we do not try to be perfect. We just want to have a good time with our makeup, whatever that means. Shimmer, glitter, declutters, we are here for it. So if that sounds good to you, I do hope that you will subscribe before you leave today because we are currently in Vlogmas, meaning I am doing 35 days of Heather. I am uploading every single day until Christmas. There will be a video on Christmas and I started the Sunday before Thanksgiving. So lots of content, lots of fun makeup videos. So if you wanna have fun, this is the place to be. But I need to do this declutter. As hard as it is to get rid of some of these things, we are going to jump into it. decluttering all three of my Sydney Grace Temptalia palettes. These are really beautiful. I actually ordered these when they launched. I ordered the bundle. I think I used these just a handful of times and honestly I just don't get enough use out of them. So this one up here is actually the light version. I think I was sent this one on mistake but it's a beautiful palette, mostly shimmers. So I'm gonna pass this along to somebody else who I think will love it. This is the deep version because the Sydney Grace palettes came out in light and deep versions. Again, it's a mostly shimmer metallic palette. I think somebody else will love it. And then this one is very colorful, very bold, very pretty, just not something that needs to stay in my collection. This one actually has three colorful matte shades, but I'm going to pass these three along. I just did not use them as much as I need to, and I don't need to keep makeup that stays around. You're going to hear me say that so many times. I don't need to keep makeup that I'm not using, and y'all could tell these palettes were not used very much. They're I wouldn't say like new, but they're very lightly used and swatched. So I'm going to be passing on, I don't know if it's going to focus for us, the Quintessence palette on the horizon and Radiant Reflection to somebody who will love them. Okay, I am decluttering this Flower Beauty highlighter. If you saw the video, this is the worst highlighter in the world. This is the Stellar Prismatic Highlighter. This says it is a cream powder hybrid. This is dry. This is like sandpaper. It's horrible. There's glitter everywhere. I had several comments of people telling me to try it on my eyes. No, absolutely not. There is nothing pretty about this. It, it's going in the trash. I'm not even passing this on because I don't hate anybody enough to do that to them. This e.l.f. blush palette is just old. It is very old. I have used it. I have loved it and it it needs to go. <laughs> it really needs to go. It's just old. It doesn't perform like it used to. It's not as pigmented and blendable. So that's how I know it is expired. I'm also going to declutter this. This is the Jaclyn Bronze and Blushing Duo in Warm Flesh and Golden Goddess. I, whoops, <laughs> I really like the formulas in here. 
but for me the tones are just off the bronzer is a bit too light for me it has kind of like this red but neutral undertone I don't know it just doesn't it's not something I'm reaching for and also I have to be at my lightest like the most fair I'll ever be I have to be to wear this so I'm going to pass this on to somebody else the blush is beautiful there's nothing wrong with the formula they are so gorgeous they look amazing on the skin it's just not something I'm getting enough use out of because I don't think it's my perfect shade Next, I'm getting rid of this Clarity Cosmetics Trio. There's no name or anything on this. This is the only thing I've ever bought from Clarity. It was like two pressed glitters and this white shadow. I don't know why I bought this, but <laughs> I'll see if somebody else wants it. I know why I bought it, actually, because this glitter swatches really beautiful, but it is huge glitter, and I never use it. The glitter, the sparkly, shiny thing really pulled me in. I tell y'all all the time, I'm like a raccoon. If it's shiny and sparkly, I kind of want it. And I think <laughs> it's beautiful swatched, but it's not something that I need to keep around. So many things here. These are Pro Fusion liquid liners. Uh, whoops, Karen Harris actually sent me these. Uh, they were fun to try, these bright neon liquid liners, but I just don't get enough use out of them. Also, they're quite old and the formula has changed, so they're not even something I can really use anymore, so they probably need to be trashed. This Kali liquid lip is expired. I think this is in the shade Angel. Very beautiful, but it's smelly and old. Same with this MAC Vamplify lip gloss. This was so beautiful. I used to love wearing this, but it's old. It's expired. This Pat McGrath, one of the worst products I've ever tried. It's basically like a chapstick for your eyes. It's supposed to make your shadows intense. It doesn't. It doesn't. It just doesn't. This is a brand new Beauty Junkie eye pencil. I think they sent me. I never used. It's like one of those one side shimmery, one side matte brow bone things. These two Charlotte Tilbury products I did use, but the tip on the, whoops, that's not the tip, that's the spoolie. The tip on this is just too large for me to create the brush strokes that I like, but my sister-in-law likes pencils like this, so I'm actually going to give this to her. This brow pomade, brow gel, whatever it is, I'm going to pass on to her too from Charlotte Tilbury. This brow pencil is kind of dried and not good. I think I got this Ugh, maybe an Ipsy forever ago. Hey, another Kali liquid lipstick that is expired. Sadly, I love Kali liquid lips, but this one is old. And LA Girl Glide gel liner that just doesn't perform well anymore. It's just a bronzy color in the trash. This is actually really good. This is the NYX Sweet Cheek Soft Cheek Tint. So this is a liquid blush mousse but I don't reach for this color enough this color is very very pretty but I have this same thing but in a more like red orange shade that I love and use so I'm gonna pass this shade on to someone else Sofax highlighter palette how I have loved this this has gone on many a vacation with me it is very beautiful but I do have formulas now that I love more, I reach for more. So I'm gonna pass her along to a home with somebody who will love her a bit more than me. This ColourPop Fresh Kiss Glossy Lip Stain. I don't mind the formula, but I don't like the shade in this formula. For a lip stain, I don't want something like this. I just don't reach for enough. For me, when I go for a red lip, I want more like a liquid lipstick. Like I want full on pigment. And this just isn't it for me. I'm passing on my Midas Cosmetics Smoky Glow Highlighter Duo. Very pretty. You can tell in the pan, like, I have used this. You can definitely see where the brush has been in there. But I don't reach for it as much anymore. It's a little bit older in my collection. So I'm going to pass it on to somebody that I think will really enjoy it. I do love Smoky Glow. I love Hannah's channel so much. I'm going to keep the palette I have from the collection. But I feel like I can comfortably declutter this. I'm also getting rid of these two palettes from Milani. These were Halloween launches, maybe last year, the Fairy Tale palette and the Beautiful Nightmare. 
the shimmers in here are good. The mattes in here are okay, not great, which was really disappointing. The color stories are so beautiful. I specifically had a really hard time with this green and blue matte. If you're not somebody who's going to use those two colors, I think you'd be okay with these palettes, but I'm not reaching for them just for these shimmers. They're really good, but they're not amazing enough for me to keep in my collection just for a few. This was a really pretty palette. I don't reach for light palettes super, super often. These, I don't know if I've used them all year long and there's no reason for them to sit in my collection if I have not used them in that long. They need to go to somebody who will love them and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. More to declutter, Morphe 2. This is a skin tint. I've been into skin tints. Thought I would try this one. I don't really like it. It's very liquidy. And I had a hard time not getting a streaky finish with this, which is odd for a skin tint. It should blend in very seamlessly to the skin, but it would wear away very patchy and I would have to spend extra time blending. And then I would look in the mirror, you know, four or five hours after doing my makeup and it was kind of patchy. So there's no reason for me to keep that. <laughs> this contour from Palace Identity, beautiful, but it is extremely cool toned, like borderline gray. And it just did not work for my skin. And as much as I want to keep it because it's pretty, I can't do that. I can't keep things just because I like, well, I can, can't. Time. I could keep it if I wanted to, <laughs> but I don't want to. I don't want to keep it just because it's pretty, and when I pull it out, I'll, I'll think, oh, that's pretty. I'll never wear it. Let's be honest. I will never wear it, and I have people in my life who would love to have this. I'm getting rid of these Rodial blush drops in the shade Sunset Kiss. I have two of these. I do like the formula. I like the one that's more pink better than this one. This is more of a sunsetty rose type of color and these are fairly new to my collection so I figured I would get rid of the shade that I don't use much because I actually think my mom will really like this. I'm getting rid of this Il Maquillage brow <laughs> powder. It's so hard to open but it's just a brow powder. I don't ever use it. It's time for it to go. I have a glitter that I have from e.l.f. This pressed glitter. Never gonna use it. And then these, these, look, ugh, NARS packaging is so hard to keep clean. This is an old duo. There was a Laguna bronzer. You can see I used it all up. And Orgasm Blush. And then this was like some type of blush palette that I'm going to pass on. I'm going to pass this on to a friend. I did love and use this, but this is still good to go. This one I think is a bit too old. The blush has a lot of hard pan in it, and I... I don't even want to guess at how old that is, honestly. Very, very old. Keep these last few things in the bin so that they don't roll away. I have this Milani lipstick. It just wasn't a favorite formula. Beautiful shade. I have worn it once, but it's very old. Probably needs to go. A bunch of MAC lipsticks that are just old and gross. Like, can you see the sides of the lipstick? The formula is unstable. It kind of stinks. All of the lip MAC lipsticks in here look like this, so I think it's time for them to go. I really do. It's the same thing with this one. It just it doesn't look good anymore. I have this cream product from Ready, Set, Jet. It's like a highlighter on one end, um, like a contour on another. I just never used it. It was a little dry. It was hard to blend. I think I used it once or twice, and don't want to keep it. This highlight from Ciate, I love. This is the dewy stick. I'm going to pass this on to somebody else. It's just a clear balm highlighter that gives you that wet glass skin. But honestly, I found one from e.l.f. that I like a lot better. This is a lip product. <laughs> I don't even know the brand. Um, it's a Kate Beauty lip product that's just okay. Don't love it. I have this glitter this is like a loose glitter from Lit Cosmetics. Don't ever use it. Gonna pass it on. I have a sample size of the Artist Couture Illuminati Highlighter. I don't really love loose highlighters. Gonna pass that on. A very old LA Girl Pro Conceal that is nasty and old. More MAC lipsticks. This lip mask that I could never get open. 
<laughs> I'm throwing it away because I never used it because it's hard to open. Every time I tried to get op open it, it was frustrating and I tossed it. And an ABH contour stick in the shade Mink. Just... There, there are better cream contours out there, in my opinion. Okay, y'all. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this declutter. I hope that you enjoyed seeing things move out of my collection so I can make room for the new and just love what I have even more. I hope y'all are having a super awesome day, whatever you are doing. And I will see you very, very soon in another video. Bye.